Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and welcome back to lesson number nine on my Learn How to Crochet series. Now in lesson number nine, I'm going to show you how to double crochet. Now the abbreviation for double crochet is DC, but if you're not interested in learning the abbreviations right now, don't worry about it. Uh, the only reason I'm showing you them is so that later on you'll be able to decipher crochet patterns. Okay, a real quick tip about the double crochet is that it's two times longer than the single crochet. And you will start to understand what this means later on when I demonstrate it for you. Also, when teaching you the double crochet, I'm only going to show you the first two rows because that's really all you need to know in order to grasp the concept of the double crochet. Okay, so let's get started. I want you to start out with a slip knot and go ahead and chain 20. Now you should already know how to tie a slip knot and to chain, but if you can't remember or if you don't know how, go back and watch lesson number four and five to learn how. Okay, so the first thing you need to remember is that you always wanna place your first double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. And the reason for that is that your first stitch will measure up with the turning chain, but don't worry if you don't understand what that means right now. Okay, so go ahead and count to the fourth chain and when you're ready, wrap the yarn around your hook. Now remember, this is also called yarn over. So when you yarn over, sweep the yarn from back to front. After you yarn over, place the hook into the fourth chain. Now yarn over again. Okay, pull the hook through the chain and you will now have three loops on your hook. Now yarn over your hook again, and this time you'll wanna pull through the first two loops on your hook. So now you'll have two loops on your hook. So go ahead and yarn over again and pull through the last two loops on your hook. And you just made your first double crochet. Okay, so let's place our second double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, go ahead and push through the chain. Yarn over again and pull through the chain. There should be three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, pull through the first two loops on your hook. And now there should be only two loops left on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops on your hook. And there's your second double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this a few more times. Okay, so just continue to double crochet down your chain and I will meet you back here and show you how to do your second row of double crochets. Okay, so this is what your first row of double crochets should look like. And now what I'm going to do is chain three to continue on to my second row. So always chain three when you're double crocheting to get to the next row. Now after you chain three, you wanna turn your work around. Okay, so I wanna take a few minutes and help you understand that you are chaining three because you want to meet the height of the next double crochet row. Also remember that the chain three counts as your first double crochet. So that means that when you go to place your next double crochet on the second row, you wanna skip the first stitch that is connected to the turning chain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to place that second double crochet. So this is the stitch you wanna place it into right here. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and wrap the yarn over the hook and push the hook through that second double crochet stitch. Now remember, when you actually push the hook through the stitch, the stitch contains two strands of yarn. So it almost looks like there's four strands of yarn on your hook right now. But that's just because that stitch contains two strands of yarn. Okay, so when you're ready, wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through that first stitch, there are now three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn over again, 
pull through the first two loops on your hook, wrap the yarn over again, and pull through the last two loops on your hook. And there's your first double crochet on your second row. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you two more times how to double crochet on your second row. Now when you're all through, you might think you're finished, but remember you have that last turning chain that you still need to double crochet into. So I'm gonna go ahead and double crochet into that last turning chain. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because it can be confusing if, you, if you're unsure about that. So go ahead and crochet into the last turning chain and this is what it should look like when you're all through. I want to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you got something out of it. And if you did, I'm hoping you'll do me a favor and click the like button at the bottom of this YouTube video. Thank you so much and have a great day.